Hi, I'm Diane, a Bible teller. If one knows when they will die, what will they do at the day before die? What would you do? The most important event on the day before Jesus' death was eating. He ate with his disciples. Yes, this is the meal we know as the Last Supper. Meal was important to Jesus. I think the information about Jesus related to meal is well described in the Gospel of Matthew. Let's take a moment to see the Gospel of Matthew. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. A publican is an official who collects tax. At that time, Judea was a Roman colony, and publicans paid taxes to Rome, collected from their compatriots. From the Jewish point of view, they were betrayers. So publicans were thoroughly ignored by the people, even they could not enter the Jewish temple called synagogue. Jesus eats with them and accepts Matthew, who was also one of the publicans, and religious leaders cannot accept this. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. A glutton and drinker the Pharisees accused Jesus with these names. It is actually my favorite parts of Jesus. Indeed, it is unknown whether Jesus was a glutton or not, but there was no doubt that Jesus did not mind to say about who to eat and what to eat. Jesus told about eating like this. Not that which goes into the mouth defileth a man, but that which comes out of the mouth this defileth a man. Let's go back to the Last Supper. This dinner was not at Bethany, but at an attic in Jerusalem. And this was actually the last meal Jesus had before he died. And as they sat and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, One of you which eateth with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve that dippeth with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goeth, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good worry for that man if he had never been born. When Jesus said this, the atmosphere of the meal would have cooled all of a sudden. The disciples would be embarrassed and wondered who the betrayer was. The Last Supper Leonardo da Vinci captures this very moment. Do you know who is Judas Iscariot among these? Guess who is? I will give you a hint. This is a sculpture of the Last Supper made by salt. It is in a salt mine in Poland. Just look at the disciples' hands. The answer is, I will tell you at the end of the video. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed, and break it and gave to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. The bread and wine Jesus gave to his disciples are the origin of Holy Communion. After the meal, the group of Jesus went to the Mountain of Olives nearby. 
And Jesus said unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. But Peter said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will not I. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. But he spake the more vehemently, If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any wise. Likewise also said they all. Peter is Jesus' first disciple. His name was Simon, but Jesus named him Peter, which means solid rock. Jesus made a series of shocking prophecies, but as Peter's name, his heart toward Jesus seemed solid. At least, till that moment. It was Diane, a Bible teller. Peace be with you.